Once upon a time in the bustling city of Agrabah, there lived a kind-hearted young boy named Aladdin. He was known for his adventurous spirit, mischievous smile, and love for exploring the world around him. Aladdin lived with his loyal monkey companion, Abu, in a small, run-down house on the outskirts of the city. Despite their humble living conditions, Aladdin was content and always had a positive outlook on life. One day, as Aladdin roamed the busy streets, he stumbled upon a beautiful marketplace. The air was filled with the scent of exotic spices, and colorful fabrics danced in the breeze. Aladdin's eyes widened with wonder as he saw vendors selling their precious wares. As he walked further into the marketplace, he heard a commotion. Curiosity sparked within him, and he followed the sound until he arrived at a crowd surrounding a mystical old man. The man was a sorcerer and had a magnificent golden lamp in his possession. Intrigued, Aladdin couldn't resist the temptation to find out more. The sorcerer explained that the lamp had the power to grant three wishes to whoever possessed it. Aladdin's eyes gleamed with excitement, and he dreamt of the endless possibilities. But there was a catch. The sorcerer could only touch the lamp, and it required someone pure of heart to retrieve it from its hidden resting place in the Cave of Wonders. Sensing Aladdin's pure heart, the sorcerer offered him the chance to claim the lamp. With a mix of determination and bravery, Aladdin accepted the challenge. He embarked on a perilous journey to the Cave of Wonders, with Abu by his side. Guided by a magical flying carpet, they faced treacherous traps and puzzles until they finally reached the cave's entrance. As they stepped inside, a booming voice warned them, only one whose heart is true can enter here. Aladdin reminded himself of his pure intentions, and miraculously, the cave allowed him to proceed. Deep within the cave, Aladdin found the glowing lamp resting on a pedestal. He carefully picked it up and placed it in his satchel. Just as they were about to leave, Abu couldn't resist the glittering treasure surrounding them and grabbed a shiny ruby. The cave started to shake, and the voice roared, whoever touches the forbidden treasure shall be trapped forever. In a panic, Aladdin grabbed Abu and jumped onto the flying carpet, narrowly escaping the collapsing cave. Once they were safe outside, Aladdin examined the lamp and discovered a hidden secret. When he rubbed it gently, a magical blue genie emerged in a puff of smoke. I am the genie of the lamp, and I am here to grant you three wishes, boomed the genie. Aladdin couldn't believe his eyes but quickly realized the true power he possessed. Aladdin's first wish was to provide food, shelter, and clothing for the less fortunate people of Agrabah. In an instant, the streets filled with abundance, and smiles replaced the worry on people's faces. For his second wish, Aladdin wished to be a wise and just ruler who could make Agrabah a city of peace and harmony. With his newfound wisdom and kind heart, he brought prosperity to the land and earned the love and respect of his people. As for his final wish, Aladdin asked the genie to set him free. The genie smiled and granted his wish, disappearing back into the lamp forever. Aladdin was now free to live his life as he pleased, with the knowledge that he had made a positive impact on the world. From that day forward, Aladdin continued his adventures, exploring the world and spreading kindness wherever he went. He realized that true happiness didn't come from riches or power, but from using his gifts to make a difference in the lives of others. And so, Aladdin's story became a legend, passed down from generation to generation, reminding everyone that kindness, bravery, and a pure heart can truly make dreams come true.